So, new helmet. Oh, ventilation's good. In fact, ventilation's really good. I'm not impressed with that. Get out the front one. Okay, so I've got the front vent open and the top vent open. Right, nobody knows what I'm talking about, do they? Okay. Good morning, or well, good afternoon. Long time no chat and all that. Uh, quick little update on my brackets that I've been playing around with. I've pretty much given up on all those. Uh, I do like the view that I get, the worm's eye view I get from the bracket on the back foot peg. So every now and then I might do that, but I've pretty much given up on it. Got a new helmet, the Evo line, the Shark Evo line, which is a modular helmet. That was really noisy and it was six years old. So time for an upgrade. My daughter was buying a new helmet and that's what made me think about getting another one for myself. Uh, and I'd heard you're supposed to replace them every five years and I wasn't sure whether that was just a gambit from the manufacturers to sell more helmets but I looked into it a little bit more and apparently the glues used and things like that degrade over time and the inner shell gets more brittle over time and I thought well I've only got one head and this is a HJC IS 17 and I got it for a good price so I'm just giving it a try out hoping it's quieter than the shark it's got an integral sunscreen which I like because I wear glasses and that makes wearing sunglasses quite difficult anyway so I plugged all my technology into it this morning and wired it all in so this is a test to see what it sounds like and how comfortable I find it. So far so good I think. Um, the visor clips, clips into place so that's quite good, it locks so I quite like that and it's got a 5 star sharp rating in. Feels okay. So that's 65. Can't really hear myself at all. I think it's a little bit quieter than the Evo line. Good ventilation. That's 17. I'm experiencing quite a lot of wind noise. Oh, no, no. 
as well. thing then I think I just started to concentrate more on the technology than actually going out on the bike and I didn't like all these dangly wires everywhere and I kept on trying it and forgetting to turn one thing on and another and having to do it again didn't bother uploading anything so I have been busy with it but at the end of the day I just thought it's too much aggro nobody's that concerned I don't think about the quality, I'm not making a production for the BBC and it's not like anything I say is of any riveting importance so I decided to just get everything mounted on the helmet again uh, and if I wanted to do a little video just knock on knock one out worry about it too much. It's far easier having it all connected to the helmet. So that's 65 and it's, I suppose, pretty noisy. I'll drop it down actually. I'll go down. That's 60, so the wind noise is really, you know, okay. expensive as I thought they were and neither were AGC but one of my criteria that I wanted was to have the sun visor uh, which limits it somewhat so we'll see how I go with this one up onto the old uh, YouTube just to prove that I'm still alive. So, cheerio and catch you next time. <laughs>